Okay, folks, and you know who it is. It's Bino Black. And we have found another sun or star out there doing the same thing what the sun has been doing is recent because we don't really have a CME, or if not, we're finding a very... NASA and everybody and all the physicists and stuff are going to get a example. We've been talking about how, or maybe they've already known, since they were talking about the distance of the satellites that are way out, and then they still the bow shock and everything like that is bigger and larger and they're trying to find out because eventually they'll get through signals and stuff and feedback and as you can see you see a, a more than likely a, are a, I'm trying to think of it basically I've said quasar before and it's not quasar but as you can see you can see the light flashes that we're getting basically one from this direction or this direction and then one from this direction and this direction and that is also not a planet doing a CME reactive flare. Now, if it is, then we have the we've already proven that that planets will do a CME reactive flare to a CME. Now, we do see a CME come off the sun, but it's so that the electrical that ends up making this either star or planet do what it's doing way up there, and it'll blow up more to like 888. And yes, everything that you're seeing at the Hawaii footage is never going to go away. It's always going to be in that, uh, and that's what's nice about that. It's not uh, in the entity of, well, somewhat they might have contracts or something with uh, NASA or whatever, or some space agency or something like that. They are interwoven with sharing data and stuff with Na NASA and so forth and so on. But no matter what, we can be maybe possibly be seeing uh, the beginning of, or no matter what, it pretty much looks like we see a sun way back there doing a CME. It's not, it's because basically you can see, and that's not even me wanting to let, but anyway, there's no really big secrets down there. It's just Big Brother scatter trying to see what everything I'm looking at or whatever, because it's pretty crazy when I just basically barely like down here and all of a sudden my pages get pulled up. Yeah, I know how scatter works. So anyway, I'm being mirrored. It's no big deal. I've seen it on my YouTube account and everything like that. So anyway, we have a star, which is a sun, and it's doing a CME right up there. So we're going to end up zooming in on that as much as we can, because we can go 9.99 on this. And I'm going to get out of here in a second and show you what, because uh, I'll always zoom out so you know that we're looking at uh, footage. I'm pretty sure that I'm basically on B, high H1B, and I'll know in a minute, because I'll give you the actual picture factual. So basically, you can see what you can see right there doing that. Now, when I get the magnifier up, you're not going to be able to see, but basically, we got a sun way off, and it's probably quadrillion mi mil million billion miles away we we do know that we can just basically astronomical distance that that's out there but no matter what uh, and then basically I'm gonna bring the magnifier with me and then basically as soon as we zoom up like this I'm um, like out of the shot and stuff like that so we'll have to go find it we'll put the slider over and I'll save some video time to go find it We get a great example here, folks, and basically I apologize for moving there, but there we go. And we'll be able to, basically, it is, and when I'm looking at it without using my pointer, you can see a, a sun, a star, way the hell out doing a huge CME. So that's what the sun probably looks like from, uh, because that's a sun, that's a star. Uh, it, in the Milky Way galaxy, kind of doubt it. Mm, possibility, okay? Uh you have to figure in uh, the mileage of because uh, like, basically you can always figure out mileage no matter what through all you and everything like that so you end up trying to figure out and I'm going to go up a little bit so that may, hopefully my magnifier handle is not on top of that but you can see a sun doing a CME in the darkness of space as you see it's dark and then boom remember the red is just a highlight of and then we'll, I'll just go ahead and try to get in a little bit more I'll try to get as close as look as we can And I think if I go anything more, I can go down a little bit. When 
I get to this size, it's hard to tell what I'm doing with my cursors to keep them out of the way so you can see the shot real good. So no matter what, a sun way the heck out doing that. So we'll be able to keep an eye on that for a while because we know it's flaring over there now. So there's pretty much more than likely some kind of electrical connection between uh, that star and we're going to start seeing road maps of, I think basically they're going to start really, and NASA's probably already on it, making uh, of what stars twinkle at what, tw what stars and so forth. So that's basically right there. And as you can see, as we go through here, I could pause it, and you can, but you can very easily see, and you can see it's coming from over by that star. So there are stars uh, electrically communicating to each other, and it's not communicating with the sun. So it's almost like a quadrant, as you can see, because basically it, ended up, it ends up crisscrossing. And it's better to look far out like this. You can see the sun, star, whatever it is, way the hell out there. And by positioning, there should be somebody that uh, watches my videos enough that can research and do some time and take and see if they can. Uh, and once you do give me something, then I'll research that a little bit and we'll kind of see a good idea that what we've got. No matter what, one of them goes pretty much X marks the spot. There's two stars, quadrillion, basically astronomical distances out this way. Either that or because basically you know you can see it coming across behind that star there too so wild action out there in space and then uh, I'll try to see if I can pause it on it there's a little bit of it there but uh, step I think yeah I forgot about the step thing and I'll hit reverse and maybe we can go back into it So I guess I went away from it, but now we'll hit reverse again, and now see if we go back. We should be able to get those flashes back, because if we see the CME going back into the sun, we should be able to get that, and there it goes, there's that star is doing its CME there. So there's very good fact here that basically we do know that this, whatever that is, reacted to more than likely the CME of the sun because the CME of the sun comes off first as you can see it's showering out but it doesn't really matter and then we should be able to like, keep stepping here uh oh I screwed up on so there you get that and then I should be able to hit forward and then hit reverse and there and there you get the, you see that flash And there you go, and there's that other flash there. So we pretty much get that separated. So you can basically uh, watch that on full screen, uh, because basically it's going to screw up. So anyway, you can see it, and I'll hit play on that, and then basically I'm going to want to hurry up and see, go over and see if we get anything on the Hawaii footage and show you some pictures from last night. Yep, and all this is here, and basically I'll zoom in on this. And basically if you freeze a lot of frames on last night's CFH, and I'm going to zoom in, that is not an airplane, ladies and gentlemen. This here is not an airplane. And if we ever, if we've gotten something like that that fast yet, I, we do somewhat, but uh, I'm not going to get into that too much. You can research Coyote and some other stuff, DARPA, uh, anyhow. And basically, that there object there is basically in the sky somewhere. It's hard to see where this stuff comes flashing out from. The stars are doing some wild action in space right now. We're getting some, it, it is a very uh, winter, and basically go to Two Minute News and look at all the record highs we've got with the sun and so forth. So what's going to freak people out is this thing is dancing around in the sky, and let me zoom in on this, and I might even be able to bring it to paint. I'm not going to have to, but as you see as I'm zooming in, you can see that there. It's huge, and it dances around the sky, and there's way more than possibly one of them and they're red stars that are doing some action in space, they're going to freak people out. Now I'm going to be able to remember this is hologram basically in a sense. Either that or this star is actually bleeding right through up there. Now what I'm doing is bringing it to paint so I can zoom in on this object. And there's a lot of them. And it's stars. And basically it's somewhat like a cluster of stars. It's, I'm hard, having a hard time. But they're grouped together no matter what. So if I can get this just right, suck it over, and bring it down. 
And then there's smaller ones of groups of them and stuff like that. And then they're basically red stars. So we're getting some kind of action with actual uh, atomic uh, in space of certain stars reacting at a certain time. NASA knows probably more about it. Probably been doing some studies on it. They're going to talk to us about it. Mm, kind of doubt it. Anything Bino's talking about, they're pretty much going to try to hush, put to the back burner. As you can also see on my video accounts and all this stuff like that. And then they're worried about black light and interest in that too. This could be something going supernova out in space because the idea that it's been baby for a long, it takes thousands of years for this to happen. So the idea, everything is safe, nothing that's, you know, there's no doomsday here from Bino. Basically what Bino's doing is showing you what is up in the sky and what we're seeing. And basically you can see there's red dwarf stars that are dying off or whatever. But at the same time, it looks like uh, what you'd see, what they call black hole supernova, because there's either that or we have some black planets that are smoking. Uh, of cooling off. Maybe they've been red before and then they're smoking and cooling off. But anyway, this stuff's bleeding through the sky uh, pretty good. Uh, through the clouds. This is all through clouds. So sometimes you need cloud cover to filter just so you can see this stuff out there. And as you see, if I get in here, we've got a star there. Uh, there's a star there for sure. There. And there's some others along here in the clustering line. Now remember, the white line that's drawn there is basically a constellation line in their map that they show this year, this whiteness here, this is a line. But basically, as you see, there's these planets around and along out there that basically are bleeding through in the nighttime. Let's go over to the CFH camera. And as you can see, basically, we get, don't worry about this. It's, this is the satellite uh, solar panel moving, and then that star comes across, so you get it, like, blinking at you. That's just that star, okay? But we do have our star, the sun, behind here, the veil. And you can zoom in and play around with that on action there. And I've got it at 999, so I can kind of point. Basically, what we must take, basically look at and take shots of is that big star right there. But no matter what, they have to get all the way in there and zoom in real good to divide it out between everything that it's in a belt together with that we know that goes through the yellow brick road that we basically see out here. It's a spiral, just like an umbilical cord. Okay, DNA structure. Okay, so that's our sun up there behind the solar panel. Okay. And let me show you basically real fast of... Uh, let me pop down so that you realize what we're looking at on size and everything like that. And there, that's what our shot with it from that. And let me get over to my Sechi other sh shot real fast, and then you'll see that, okay, I showed you what that one was. Okay, there you go. Now, basically, I'm subbing for uh, basically suspicious observers, and basically, we don't know each other. There's no connection at all. We have never communicated with each other or anything like that, but he does a great job on the weather. And I'm going to show you basically here what he's got. It saves me a bunch of time giving you this because I can go to the same thing. And we've got record-breaking temperatures, okay? From average, 2012, and these are record highs, okay? This is also an old record high of not of what year I do not know for damn sure. But the idea, no matter what, uh, 2012 is breaking all known temperatures, okay? These are all records, and basically all this information and it, you have a uh, key over here for seeing your years, 2012, 1921, 1999, 34, 2006. So between 2006 and this, and this is what gets everybody going on the CO2 and global warming and everything like that. There really is not a problem. Basically, we're going to end up with CO2 laser burning nuclear, uh, not nuclear, basically CO2 burning plants, dynamos. It's the future electrical companies, and they're behind the, the times. Actually, there might be new Westinghouses and Edisons in the world right now, and one of them might be speaking to you right now on the internet right here. My voice, me, I know how to do it. So anyhow, yes, a, a brilliant mind is a terrible thing to waste. So don't stay locked in the box. Never went to a college, ladies and gentlemen. Self-taught. It's called hands-on. Okay, plenty of earthquakes out there too. So if you don't believe me, let's go confirm this 7.3 quake. Okay, let's confirm it. Been tracking this, we'll see if that's Antares, but there's tons of stars that are very close to Earth right now. Thanks to Navy for the zoom in on the sun today. Lots of this stuff is bigger than Jupiter. That's bigger than Jupiter. This is bigger than Jupiter. Lots of this stuff you see here is bigger than Jupiter, and there's no arm on the sun today on this shot, and I've showed you this before. So basically, there's stuff right up there by the sun. Here's one confirmation on the quake, 7.3 meg, and then we'll see how much USGS lies about it. And you're starting to wonder what they know, because it's going to be the phys physical bang, or what is it going to be? 7.9 quake, and there's all your other data here. And look at how bad the Earth has been rumbling as I roll up through here. That's magnitude quakes, ladies and gentlemen. Freeze the screen. 
it's getting ramped up more. I told you a small item and then a big item, and then we'll keep getting big items, so keep the mag on, because basically...